just showed Mueller uh, he means business with this bold move to end the Russia probe by Aaron Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Rudy Giuliani uh, joined, just joined President Trump's legal team, and he's wasting zero time in ending Mueller's, actually, out-of-hand Russia probe. According to reports, Giuliani has already made the bold move of having a face-to-face -face meeting with Mueller, Mueller to negotiate a, an end to this useless investigation. Uh, actually, it is pronounced Mueller uh, instead of Mueller, but I've been so used to saying Mueller because Mueller sounds like a mule. So <laughs> anyway, moving right along from the Washington Post, Rudolph W. Giuliani, President Trump's new personal lawyer dealing with the ongoing probe into Russia interference in the 2016 election, met with special counsel Robert S. Mueller III on Tuesday to reopen negotiations for a presidential interview, according to three people familiar with the talks. Giuliani, who joined Trump's legal team last week, conveyed the ongoing resistance of Trump and his advisors to an interview with federal investigators, but did not rule out the possibility, the people said, adding that Giuliani pressed Mueller for clarity on the probe is expected to end, or uh, as to when the probe is expected to end. But that's the main reason we want to know about this. When is it ending? In response, Mueller reiterated that he would like a chance to talk, to ask Trump questions. No, I, I disagree with that. Why would, why would you answer questions for an investigation that has nothing to do with you? Uh, why would I give him the satisfaction, actually? So, in response, Mueller reiterated that he would like a chance to ask Trump questions about steps he took during the transition and early months of his administration, the people said. The special counsel emphasized, as he did in conversations in March with Trump's team, that an interview is essential for investigators to understand, understand Trump's intent in making key decisions as they seek to wrap up the portion of the probe focused on potential obstruction of justice. That's a trap. The people familiar with the meeting requested anonymity to describe the encounter because they were not authorized to speak publicly. The face-to-face -face discussion illustrated how Giuliani is functioning as Trump's chief liaison and lead negotiator with the special counsel. The meeting renewed talks that had largely uh, faltered since the resignation last month of John Dowd, a veteran lawyer, uh, who was serving as Trump's lead outside attorney on the investigation. I'm uh, doing it because I hope we can negotiate an end for this for the good of the country and because I have high regard for the president and for Bob Mueller, Giuliani said in an interview with the Washington Post last week. Now, I don't know if he's playing games because I my re the red flags start popping up or lights, red lights, uh, danger uh, starts flashing every time I hear uh, it being mentioned that uh, respect for Mueller or high regards for Mueller and that he, Mueller, or that he's a fair, uh, no, he's uh, the, he's the sw uh, swamp creature, I should say, uh, in my books. Trump said in a statement last week that Giuliani wants to get this matter quickly resolved. But Giuliani, 73, a former uh, New York mayor and U.S. attorney, has known Mueller for decades through their work in federal law enforcement. Both men were joined by members of their teams in the Tuesday sit-down meeting at Mueller's office in southwest Washington. A Mueller spokesman declined to comment. Trump attorney Jay Sekulow declined to confirm a meeting took place or to describe the discussions. We don't discuss conversations with the office of the special counsel, Sekulow said. We continue to maintain our ongoing cooperation. But why shouldn't, uh, in other words, they're, they're, they're saying that this whole investigation is to protect the, quote, American democracy. That's why Mueller's there. Uh, so why not uh, uh, disclose to the people what you, what's going on since the people are actually paying your salaries, do you think? Okay, so 
One person briefed on the discussion described the session as relaxed, uh, relaxed, and an opportunity for both sides to feel each other out for what? Still, Trump remains extremely opposed to granting Mueller, Mueller an interview, according to uh, one close advisor. I, I totally agree with that. Setting up a potential high-stakes legal battle between the White House and the special counsel who could ultimately seek to try to subpoena the president. And all this because Jeff Sessions is a weasel, you see? When Mueller's office first uh, broached the idea of an interview late uh, last year, Trump initially was open to it, rejecting warnings from Dowd that such a move would be perilous, according to several advisors, which I said that from the get-go. I, I, I'm not even an attorney. Dowd uh, resigned in late March after disagreements with Trump about the interview. You know, so I kind of wonder about this. So Trump, uh, you know has disagreements with Dowd, and now he is put in Giuliani, uh, and it seems like Giuliani might be up to uh, setting up a sit-down with Trump. I, does this make any sense to anybody? But the president's willingness to meet with the special counsel cooled dramatically when he learned earlier this month that his personal attorney, Michael Cohen, was under criminal investigation by federal prosecutors in Manhattan. A total witch hunt, right? You know, in other words, Comey uh, set it up with his attorneys uh, the way for the leaked memos so he would have attorney-client privilege and yet Mueller takes it upon himself with I bet you any amount that Sessions agreed for that U.S. Uh, uh, district something or other to go and raid Cohen's office. I mean, you got to be kidding me. So Trump, the president of the United States, doesn't have attorney-client privilege. You know, this is all a farce, folks. This is all a farce. A farce. They actually raided Cohen's office for the $130,000 peanuts in comparison to Hillary's laundering of millions of dollars into her slush funds. $145 million for uh, Russia into the Clinton Foundation for the uranium deal, 84 million in uh, donations for her uh, presidential candidate, candidate run, and you're talking 130 grand paid out to uh, Stormy Daniels? I mean, something's really upside down with this country at this point, and it is shocking to say the least. So here you have uh, Mueller rating, uh, and first of all, if Sessions would step up to the plate, this whole investigation would be over. But yet Sessions is not doing that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.